Well, in that case... Hilda? Yes? Could you come? Mr. Morris is having these two if you put them in a the box. Thanks. Have you been here? Two years. Oh. Two and a half, it must be. Yeah. Is it Two your business years. or? Yes, it's mine. Ah. How did you manage that? I worked. Ah. You really are nice. Well, come again. How did you come to meet Derek? He's my accountant, isn't he? Ah, very good at finding girls, my money. Are you serious? Sure. You work hard. What's wrong with it? I feel guilty. Oh, well, maybe guilt's just one more of the things money can buy. Touché, very touché indeed. That's not the full story. Um, what is the full story? Well, what do you want to be? A thoroughgoing shit. With no conscience, no memory. An immunity to syphilis. A mind that got to linear B 20 minutes before that bastard ventris. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, that's my number. If you want any more, you can sing it yourself. Who staked you in this place? It, it, it really is nice. Nobody. I saved. What did you do? Modelled. What sort of thing? Any sort that paid. How was that? It's fine. The fashion. And... Mm, fashion. And the other. What's that? The other. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, she will. She will. Well, I, I must give my well-known imitation of running. I promised to have a drink for the literary lady who also happens to run a book program on the BBC. Yeah, funny how one remembers friends like that just when you have a book coming out. <laughs> well, bye. Thank you for the coffee. Well, warn me when you come in next time, and I'll get some cream. I never actually met anyone who'd done it before. It's very strange sitting there with this girl wondering in a vague sort of way what she looks like without her clothes on.